Hi guys, Brick McBricksworth here, and today I am going to show you a new Lego set that I bought. It's exciting, I know, but I'm going to show you the Lego set, and then I'm going to build said Lego set, and then I'm going to review the Lego set. So, for your enjoyment, please welcome the Knights of Ren transport ship. And this one, it comes with three minifigures. So we got Ray and two, the last two of the Knights of Ren that we have not seen before in sets previously released. So yeah, that makes all six of them available in different sets. There we go. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to build it. And then I'm going to show you it. So, okay. I'm going to open it. Right. Let's do the old uh, trick with the knife. Because if you push the finger holes in, damages your box. You don't want to damage your box, do you? But, you know, doing it this way, you can, you know, avoid damage to your box. So, in the box, we have... Several bags, <laughs> and the hmm, doesn't look like any stickers this time, which is quite good. Instructions, with, as usual. Uh, what? We have parts list, and we have let's have a random page. There we go. Right, not to, not show you too much about it because we want to see it all done. So we've got four numbered bags, as per usual. So, I'm going to build it and see you in a bit for review time. And here we have it. The Knights of Ren transport ship. Ooh, it's all built now. Oh. Right. Okay, a little bit of uh, information for you, just uh, while you have a look at me spinning it around in all different directions. Okay, a little bit of information. The set costs sixty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. Uh, it's got five hundred and ninety-five pieces. It's a nine plus set. Okay, and you get three minifigures in the set. So we get two of the little Knights of Ren guys. And then two. Do 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 and we get a ray. In her episode 9 look. Okay, so what do you get? Well, you get a ship. And I think when this was being designed by the Lego team, I think what they had in mind was more of like sort of a tank look because you can open these doodars and you can fit a minifigure in there and another one there. Like little turrets because they've got little guns on. Okay. And, you know, you can fit a little minifigure in there. But, you know, as we know, having watched, how, having now watched uh, episode nine, this is a spaceship. But on the box art for that one, it's, it kind of looks like a, uh, like a, a tank or a sand speeder. You know, but a big one, you know, where they can transport around on like that. Okay, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, the build process on this one was pretty good. Uh, yeah, I mean, because it's like quite, it's quite very black uh, with a little bit of grey. So yeah, I mean, it was pretty good. But the only one thing I would say about this one, I mean, the top looks absolutely brilliant for the scale it's in. Because obviously it's not full like minifigure scale, because this thing is supposed to hold all six of the Knights of Ren. And probably Kylo as well, when he's deciding to go transporting around with these guys. So at least six guys are supposed to fit in here. And if you hold this up, and then you get, oopsie, trapped him. You get your guy, and he barely fits in. So, yeah, that's it's not really going to fit all six guys in. So I don't know what went on there. Now, there is one other space where you can put things. So if you lift that up first, you can get into here. 
I suppose you can fit a few bits in there, maybe one or two minifigures at a push, you know, and then close that up. I don't know. So you got maybe two in there, one in there, one in there. That's four. There's six Knights of Ren. So, yeah, you ain't fitting them all in. So, yeah, the scale isn't to minifigure scale by any means. You'd be looking more like, you know, UCS Millennium Falcon size if it was that sort of thing more than likely. Now, on the top, like I say, it looks good. On the front, looks good because there's interesting building process to making it look like that. Oopsie, dropped a bit. That, that can happen now and again because it is only a couple of studs on the front holding them on. And on the back, uh, apart from, you can see it's landing skid and you can't move that because it is Technic pieces all pinned in. And now let's show you the bottom. Here it comes. Wow. Now that isn't hiding anything. I mean, they're not hiding anything there. Big red plunger things. Now if you swoosh this so you're flying it in the air, like you do, and you do a, a bow roll. What the? What happened there? Oh my gosh. You know, it's just not, uh, I don't know. I mean, that's that's well done to make it look good on the front. But if you look underneath, that is it. You're going to see all that. So for display purposes, you are keeping it firmly on the table. You're not, you're not hanging this one up in the air. Because if you do, you're just going to see, you're going to see more than anti-studs. You're going to see, no, I don't know. So it's one of them. It's... It's a ground thing, but with no wheels, so it, it's like a hover tank, you know, just like a little bit of thing. No, don't, don't, don't fly it, because you'll see them skids underneath. Like I say, you can't move these because they're pinned in, and same there, and it moves a little bit, but it's it's pinned in all together. And you got a couple of shooters, which are a good little thing here because of the size of the wing. So you got your shooters there, but you got like this extension piece which. Fires it off nicely. Oops, that's gone. <laughs> Proper gone, that one. All in all, interesting. I mean, the build process for the top, like I say, it was really good. It was good, don't get me wrong. Uh, like the methods for, let me just pop this up. Like the methods for putting that on and, and putting them up. It, it was good. It was it was good. It, it's falling apart. I mean, you, you might need to put that one into your consideration when... Uh, Thinking about purchasing this one. If you're purchasing it for a child who's going to play with it, I've knocked off several bits while just talking about the actual thing. So, you know, this is this is going to happen. If you if you've got a set where you want it to be like stationary on a on a shelf, great. This one it'll it'll do its it'll do its job. It'll do its job for you. So yeah, I mean, what more can we say about? The set, he's, he's got a lot of details on it for a set of this size. It's got a lot of details, but it is very, very like one colour. And black is harder to actually see the details because I have to keep moving it like this so that you can see it in the light and whatnot. But, you know, overall, pretty good. I mean, but yeah, just don't look underneath it. Just whatever you do, do not look underneath it. So what we'll do, we'll put this guy in here. We'll pop this guy in here. And let's see if Ray can have a little bit of a fight with him, eh? Let's see if Ray can beat him up. Yeah, so, what do you get for your money? It ain't bad. It ain't bad. Uh, but, like we say, on the bottom there. Ugh. Oh, come on. No. But like, like, like what happens with most of these things, and it happened with the 2015 Kylo Ren uh, shuttle, Lego don't get like the full makeup of these things. Like in their, when they go for their meetings with like the Disney executives and they, you know, they give them like concept art and stuff like that. So it begs the question, was this like meant to be like a, look like a land speeder as opposed to a spaceship? Because, you know, the way they've set it out, you know, like with the little trap doors and whatnot, 
it kind of it kind of has that like 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 a tank sort of feel. So like they jump out and there you go. They'd be they'd be fighting, you know, alongside each other. But you can't do that in space. So you know that's that's that. You know they can't do that. And from the front, like I say, it looks good. <laughs> from the back, not as much. But yeah, that I know. Yeah. But yeah, no. I mean, if you if you put it down, you know, as if as if uh, as if it's on the ground, it it does look good. Don't get me wrong, it does look good. And you know, the the details, as I mentioned, they are pretty good in a set this big. Is it worth the money? Mm. Mm. Debatable, debatable. You know, would I would I just buy it on a whim? No. Have I bought it because one, I'm a massive Star Wars fan and a massive Lego fan? Yes. Did I want these two really important to me figures? Because I've got the other four from previous sets. Yes. Did I want to pay for them separately and pay nearly as much as the full set? Definitely, definitely not. So, yeah, I mean... Even if even if I didn't like this, you could break it down for parts. There's there's a lot of useful parts in there. I mean, them, for instance, they're very useful. You know, there's there, there is quite a few useful parts if you wanted to break it down for parts. But all in all, I'd give it, you know, rating out of ten, I I'd probably give it about six overall. But for the fact that it's got them, you know, these two, the last. Two Kylo Ren, Knights of Ren, then that that is the sealer. See, that seals it for me. That's that's the clincher, as it were. So yeah, I it's pretty good. It's going in my Lego Star Wars collection as it should. But yeah, there you have it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your time with me. Anyway, it's been fun having you. Uh, Check out some of my other videos. You might like them. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when I am next uploading. Um, and hopefully we'll have more reviews of Lego, Star Wars and other sets for you. So, see you later.